everyone, Stacy here, and we're going to do my first official what's in my bag video. Now this is actually not my bag. Nope. We're going to do our kickoff here with my mother-in-law's bag who's in town from Indiana to visit us. Uh, they're currently outside with my kids. Now I do have permission to go through her purse. Okay, so I don't want you to think that while she's outside, I'm just rummaging through her stuff. I would never do that. I trust her. I love her. She knows I love her. She's probably watching right now. <laughs> and yes, I know Nelson. I'm not, I'm not fibbing. My cat's down here visiting me. Anyway, um, I pretty sure I've given her all her Vera Bradley. She's very much a blue person, so anything blue is really up her alley. This is her third Vera Bradley purse for me. Uh, I started her off with the Night Owl Hipster, which saw a lot of action. Then the Midnight Blues Hipster. And finally, for her last birthday, I sent her the Alpine Check Hipster. Uh, she likes her crossbody. She likes her blue. It's really a no-brainer. I actually... <laughs> I was going to wear my Alpine Check pajama top for this video. And then I realized her pattern was Alpine Check. And it, it you know, would have blended in a lot. Um, kind of like those... Those weathermen that, that um, uh, wear the green, with the green screen behind them, all you see is their their head and their, their hands. Um, yeah, that wouldn't work. So, second shirt change here. And let's get in here and see what she has. So, like I said, this is the hipster. This is an alpine check, a newer style. It has the huge Vera Bradley nameplate here. Um, I bought this for her off the Vera Bradley eBay store. And had it shipped to her. Um, it has a zippered pocket here. Let's see. She has, I feel something. Ah. Oh. Just, um, like aura gel. No big deal there. Not fun. Let's see if we can find. I know there's Kleenexes in here. She swore up and down they weren't used, so I believe her. Carmex. I cannot live without Carmex. Apparently she can't either. So we've got this back slip in pocket. That's it, other than Kleenex. Boring, but there's better stuff coming, I promise. And I don't know if you can see it, but on this side here, um, it's the black lining there. And you've got the Alpine Check pattern going down. So, before we get into the inside, let's check out the back. The zipper pocket here. <sighs> I love her dearly, but, okay, this is gum, Orbit gum. I don't allow my children to have gum. Um, they are almost seven, almost four, and just turned two. Two-year-old, no way. But the six and three-year-old know exactly where grandma keeps the gum, and conveniently she sets it out on her nightstand in the guest bedroom, and they come and raid her um, purse for gum all the time. Um, my daughter, I was shooting a video the other day, and she came down to get gum and hopped in my video. Um, there are gum wrappers <laughs> all over the nightstand in there, thanks to them. Um, I, di I, I didn't ban them originally, but I found gum in one of my living room chairs, and I know which one did it, the younger one. And so I banned gum after that, but while Grandma and Grandpa are here, I will allow it. And why does it even matter if I say I will allow it? Grandma's going to do her own thing with the grandkids, so... That's what's in her conveniently placed back pocket. All right. Now this this bag is starting to see a little bit of wear here. She uses a lot, but it's it's starting to show a little bit of wear there with the strings hanging there. The base is pretty in pretty good shape there. So I mean, these purses see some action, rightfully so. All right. She has more Vera Bradley in here. All stuff that I bought her. Here is her. Midnight Blues checkbook, and I know for a fact she has the Midnight Blues throw at home. It's one of her favorites. Um, I actually stole all, <laughs> all the the throws in the house to do a video, and um, she asked me just the other night, where's my throw? Where's my Vera Bradley throw? So I'm like, I'm gonna do a video with them. She's like, I've gotten used to having a throw under me and a throw on top of me. I really need that. So, you know, I pulled out two from my massive collection. Here you go. I didn't realize she used them that much. Um, my husband does the same thing. But I digress. So we got Midnight Blues checkbook cover there. And 
the very first wallet I ever bought her. The Night Owl Zip Around Wallet. This, she says, is in great condition. Eh. You know me and my purses. I would I like to keep them pristine, but definitely starting to show some wear there on the corners, which is very typical of the zip around wallet. Uh, damage across the the piping there, and it's it's seen a lot of action. Actually, there's a lot of change in here that I know my son hasn't gone through yet. Um, he's a quarter collector. He's collecting all the national parks quarters. And I know he hasn't gone through this yet, because there's one there. Or that could be New Hampshire. <laughs> anyway, he's the expert. I'm not. A uh, lot of change. I don't know if they hit very many toll rolls. Yeah, they do. Through Chicago, they hit toll rolls. Toll, toll roads. Um, and uh, you, you need extra money for that. So she's got one, two, three, four, five, six card slots on that side. Clear ID window, which she actually stuffs with everything. And then some other cards here. And her her bill holder has a ton of money in it. Um, but she definitely gets a lot of use out of this. Now, she has not used the um, wristlet strap here. These actually have a hidden wristlet strap that you can pull out and use. Be sure that you're ready to use that. Um wristlet strap because once you pull it out it's really hard to get back in. I've actually never been able to get one back in. So I'm not going to pull it out on hers and make her deal with that. She probably stop me from making these videos if I get another purse. When I get another purse. Got hotel travel size lotion. She travels with spoons. Plastic spoons. Alright. Don't know the significance down there. Here's a couple travesties I see. Where are her Vera Bradley pins? Looks like I need to get her some for maybe Mother's Day. Um, there's some nice, what is it, Catalina Blues out on the eBay store right now. I have to send her that for her, uh, her Mother's Day gift. Um, by the way, the slip, the interior of the hipster has one, two, three slip-in pockets here. Now, here's another piece I'm going to have to replace. This is her reader's case. She has a couple different pairs of readers, and it's Tiger. It's the, it probably came from Walmart. That needs to go. I need to replace this with the eyeglass case from Vera Bradley. Yeah, that's got to go. And we have a pair of sunglasses. Nothing crazy there. Very generic. Oh, acid reducer that I live on home, her medications, ooh, what's this, this lipstick, no, it's just, um, good grief, she has two different kinds of chapstick here, let's see what else she has, oh, car keys, gotta have those, maybe I should also get her a keychain, so maybe for Mother's Day I get her a Bear Bradley pin, a new eyeglass case, and a keychain, Kind of round out her collection here. And then she's got some receipts. Nail file. No big deal there. She. <laughs> I love her to death. She loves me. Um, I don't live anywhere near a Best Buy or any place that carries the ink for my, my printer. So she buys it for me and sends it to me. And she keeps a piece of paper in her, um, in her purse and buys my ink for me. Love her to death. That's exactly what uh, the model number is and the, the type of toner I need. So, she loves me. I'm her only grand uh, daughter-in-law. My husband is a single child, or only child. Peppermint. Don't blame her. There. Wow. Her purse overall is so much cleaner <laughs> than now I usually use mine. Put all her stuff here. Mine's filled with fruit snacks and diapers and toys and good grief. I'm going to have to deal with what's in my purse for for my current one as well. Um, I, I try to change it out, but they still get packed with receipts and Kleenex and Lord knows what else, bills. Pay everything online, so but I still get paper bills. Eh, eh. 
not exactly the world's greatest bookkeeper. <laughs> so that is the what's in my bag uh, first video from Stacy uh, regarding my mother-in-law's uh, purse. I get a hold of my mom's here in June when we go visit. Um, good grief. There's <laughs> no telling what she has in hers. They like to go to auctions almost on a weekly basis and she just buys and buys and buys. And uh, very rarely does she see Vera Bradley there, but there, there's no telling what's in her purse. There could be a, a, a ring or jewelry or something in her purse, Lord knows. Um, but mother-in-law's purse here, loves it. I'm going to try it on here. She likes hers a little bit lower than me there. Yeah, it's way too low for me. So, anyway, uh, I hope you found this entertaining can't really say it's going to be informative unless you've never seen the hipster before, which most of my viewer, uh, viewers have. Um, yeah, she's got her, her grandma stash of gum there. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up if you want to comment about um, maybe your mother-in-law's purses, what she carries, what you've given to her in the past. Like I said, most of her, if not all, of her collection, uh, Vera Bradley collection, came from me. Um... And, you know, if you want to leave me any comments below of your stories, I'd love to hear from you. Um, if you'd like to follow my channel and learn more about Vera Bradley and see more of my own personal massive collection, uh, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.